Hi guys, welcome to CYC, my name's Nathan Hayes and today I want to talk to you about sex. Whoo, damn straight! Finally getting to the good stuff, huh? Wait, it's a psychology channel. Probably gonna talk about feelings and emotions then, huh? Fluffy fucking thick it down. So what is it exactly that gives us that toe curling, just amazing sexual experience? Well, I'm going to give you a list of four things and it's not going to be the fundamentals of trust and honesty because if you have these four, those fundamentals are kind of a given, kind of almost guaranteed. So first is playfulness, obvious but no less important. You both need to be idiots. You need to have fun, be exciting, have that unpredictable silliness. Because it's in those moments that you're vulnerable with each other. Because you're being very genuine. It gives you stability because you can broach tough topics and still keep that non-judgmental and kind of light-hearted mood about it. It even gives you security because whether you like it or not, you're really an idiot. And you can't be that much of an idiot with anyone else. It's beautiful. We all try to be socially acceptable and all nice and stuff. But to be genuinely on a donkey level idiot with somebody else is a beautiful thing. Number two is sexiness. This is all of those unspoken communications, all of those smirks, all of those glances, all of those undressing you with their eyes moments that cause that fire between two people. And now you're gonna expect me to say that sex is really important in a relationship and all that, but I'm not really that concerned with the act itself. I'm more concerned about this flirtatious nature that comes beforehand, because that's what's fun, it's risky, but it's also comforting. And that's not the word you're going to expect me to use, but it's comforting in the fact that there's the same rules outside as there is inside. That you're one person, because if there's two of you, well then, who am I talking to at the moment? Which side am I talking to at the moment? And which one's the real one? And if you're able to hide the sexiness when you're outside, well then, are you really sexually attracted? Because you're able to hide it, like, that shouldn't be that easy. I don't seem to be able to get at it at all when we're outside. Or if you're like super sexy inside and you're able to hide it outside, maybe it even ask like cause them to question like, are like are you really like you're really good at hiding it? So maybe that's the genuine side, it's the sexy side, and you're able to hide it from everyone. Are you able to hide it from me? Are you going to fulfill somewhere else? Are you, you know? And that's going to cause tension. It's going to cause a distance. It's it's not the good type of tension. So be a sexually integrated person. Someone that's has those thoughts inside and outside. When you're walking past, just rub your hand along against them. Check them out. Let them know that you're sexually attracted. Go up and go to kiss them and then kind of pull back and just be like, no, maybe later. And maybe they might surprise you and they might say, kiss me now or nothing's happening later. That would be a lot of fun. That would be very, like, it'd be silly, but it'd be fun. And it doesn't actually matter what you do as long as the intention is conveyed. So it could be some secret, bloody handshake you have. It could be like waving your pinky, although that would have to be demoralizing for any guy that that was the bloody... Anyway, it could be like a sexy dance. <laughs> it could be a silly or whatever, big or small, it doesn't matter. As long as the other person understands that at this moment, you are sexually attracted to them. At this moment, they are sexually attractive. That's what's important. That you do not compartmentalize. You do not, you have the same thoughts inside as outside. Because if you compartmentalize the two separately, well, people compartmentalize things they don't understand. And just don't make your sexuality or your relationship something that you don't understand. Number three is nurturing. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health, we all know the lines. And we all want to be nurtured and we all know this. And of course, it gives us deeper and better bonds if we nurture each other through tough times especially. And lastly, number four is to be independent. This gives the relationship that healthy level of insecurity where you have to stay in touch, you have to stay connected to the person because they are a force on themselves. And if you do not stay connected, you run the risk of both of you drifting apart. But it also gives security. And that's because if something bad happens to us, if we fall down, while we do want them to comfort us and mind us and kind of understand we don't necessarily want them to fall down with us. 
It might be better for them to have hobbies and jobs and interests that keep their own head above water, keep them afloat while we might be struggling so that you can both still kind of move in the right direction, that they aren't suffering with you, that they're a healthy person that they're alongside you. And that's a better kind of construction. That's a better way of getting through whatever issue happens. You know? So while men and women or you and your partner may want different things, if you're aimed at these four, you're aimed in the right direction. So maybe look and see how often you get to experience these four things of playfulness, of sexiness, of nurturing and of independence. And maybe try and increase the frequency. Maybe try and get it on at least like a weekly basis, maybe even a daily basis. Because I think we can all agree that that would be pretty fun. And yes, yes, of course, this will probably improve your sex life, you know. And trust me, I know, I'm coming on to my late 20s. I know, trust, I got it, okay? I, trust me. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for this week. I clearly had a load of fun with this. Just, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so um, leave a comment down below, try and keep it PG. And I will see you next week, guys. Bye. <laughs>